Good evening, boys and girls. Thank you for joining us for tonight's King's Kids Bedtime Story. My name is Mrs. Deku, and my family and I, we are missionaries in the Fiji Islands. And tonight's story is about the lost sheep. The Bible tells us that Jesus often told stories, and Jesus would explain them by using things that the people would understand. And many of the people that Jesus taught were shepherds. Jesus told of a shepherd who had 100 sheep. And one evening, as he was putting the 100 sheep into his fold, he was counting them to make sure that he had all of them. One, two, three, four, five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, Ninety-nine, one, <gasps> the one hundredth sheep. It wasn't there. He looked and he looked and he called for his lamb, but it never came. He became so worried. He knew that a sheep who was alone and not with the rest of the flock was in danger of being attacked by another animal, of being lost. And he loved each one of his sheep. So the shepherd left the 99 sheep safe in the fold and went and searched all night for his one lost sheep. And the Bible tells us that when he found that sheep, he pulled him up into safety and rejoiced that he found that one sheep that was missing. The Bible tells us that we are like this lost sheep, just wandering around in our own sin. But God doesn't want any of us to be that way, that he wants all of us to know him as our savior, just like the sheep knew and loved the shepherd. Jesus wants to us to know and love him. And the Bible tells us that when one person asks Jesus to come into their hearts, all of heaven rejoices, just as the shepherd rejoiced when he found his one sheep. He told everybody he knew that how one sheep was lost, but now it was found. And it is the same with God's love to us, that he rejoices when one comes and knows Jesus as their Savior. That's such a great love that God had for us. And I also have a little missionary story for you boys and girls about a little girl who knew what it was to love a little girl named Rosemary lived with her mommy and daddy in China. They were missionaries and Rosemary had a little baby doll named Miss Bump. She loved Miss Bump so very much and they did everything together. While they were in China, Rosemary and Miss Bump would get to ride in a rickshaw, and sometimes even a Chinese wheelbarrow. They have also visited a Chinese houseboat. What a wonderful time they had together. But something was about to change. Near Rosemary's home was an orphanage for little girls. These little girls had never known a real home until kind people who loved Jesus took them into this happy home. Some of them came from famine and extreme poverty, but these missionaries were showing these little girls how much Jesus loved them. And Christmas was coming, and every Christmas morning, Rosemary's mother and father took her to the orphanage, and they helped give the little girls a wonderful time. Rosemary used to collect money and toys from all of her friends to give for the children for their Christmas. Each little girl was given a new Chinese dress and a cake of beautifully colored soap and a small toy. Rosemary and her mother worked very hard to get these things for the children. And each night when Rosemary said her prayers, she added, please Jesus, let there be enough for all the little children in the orphanage. One night, after Rosemary had finished her prayers, her mother said, 
Rosemary, what are you going to give for the Christmas tree? Mommy, replied Rosemary, I have only six pennies of my very own, and I have to buy something for you and Daddy. But Rosemary, you have many toys. Could you not give one of your best toys? A doll, perhaps? Rosemary was not really a selfish little girl, but I think in her mind she was thinking that she was doing her part by collecting from others. She hesitated a little and then said, Yes, I suppose I could. Do you think I need to give my very best doll? That is for you to decide, said her mother. But remember, Jesus said, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. You understand that, don't you, Rosemary? Yes, said Rosemary. Rosemary did not go to sleep very quickly that night. After a while, a little voice called out, Mother, Mother, would you please come back up? Her mother went upstairs, and Rosemary said, Mommy, I want to tell you something. Her mother bent down, and Rosemary said, Mommy, I just couldn't give Miss Bump. I really, really couldn't. There is Miranda. She's a beautiful doll with real hair. Will she do? Mother replied, My dear, you can give what doll you like. It is your gift. Remember, God gave his only son so that we could know him as our Savior and one day be in heaven. You know that story, don't you? Yes, Mommy. Mother kissed Rosemary on the forehead and went back downstairs. She knew Rosemary never really loved her Miranda doll. For three or four days, Rosemary was very quiet. Christmas was drawing near, and both Rosemary and her mother were working very hard at collecting the gifts for the tree. One night, when Rosemary was in her bed, Mother heard her saying over and over again, Please, Jesus, make me do it. In the morning, Rosemary went to her mother, and in her arms was the real Miss Bump. Mother, take her, she said. I must give Miss Bump to Jesus. Mother really felt sorry for her little girl. Wouldn't you rather give Miranda? No, said Rosemary. You see, I don't really love Miranda, and God loved Jesus when he sent Jesus down to earth. I must give Miss Bump. Very well, said her mother. Then we will wash her clothes and put a new ribbon and make her look clean and nice. When this was done, Rosemary's daddy got his paint box and touched up the hair and eyes and mouth and how beautiful she looked. Christmas morning came and Rosemary went with her parents to the orphanage. In the courtyard was a lovely big Christmas tree loaded with toys and parcels and apples and oranges. And there, hanging on one of the biggest branches, was Miss Bump, looking very important indeed. Some of the children who stood gazing at the tree never had a Christmas before. They had never even heard about Jesus until they came to the orphanage, and so they knew nothing about Jesus' love for them. One little girl arrived just the day before. She was very pale and thin, and her little body was covered with bruises. The Chinese and English teachers had tried to make her smile, but she was too frightened. The other children tried also and told her not to be afraid that everyone here would love her, but she couldn't believe it. After a while, one of the missionaries began to take toys off the tree, and a Chinese teacher called out the names. Rosemary was very busy helping to hold the parcels and toys. Presently, the missionary took down Miss Bump and put her right into Rosemary's arms. Rosemary gave her one last hug. Rosemary, said the missionary, 
This doll is for the little girl over in the corner. She's never had a doll or a toy before. Would you like to take it to her? The Chinese teacher took Rosemary's hand and together they went over to the new little girl. The teacher told her that this was a gift for her. The doll was hers to keep. The little girl was very frightened, but Rosemary put Miss Bump right into her arms. And the little girl looked at it as if, and it was as if Miss Bump smiled back at her. Suddenly, it dawned on the little Chinese girl that she need not be afraid. She hugged Miss Bump and smiled. When Rosemary went to bed that night, her arms seemed to ache for Miss Bump. But she hugged Miranda and said, I did it, Mommy. I did it. Jesus helped me do it. And then she fell asleep. I'm sure Jesus was very pleased with how Rosemary gave her very best. She loved her baby doll, but gave it so someone else could know how much she is loved. And boys and girls, just like that shepherd, loved that little sheep. Jesus loves us even more. And if you have never asked Jesus into your heart, I encourage you to pray and ask Jesus to come into your heart and to save you from your sins. Let's pray together. Dear Jesus, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your love. Thank you for loving us as the shepherd loved his sheep. Help each of these boys and girls to know how much you love them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us tonight on King's Kids. We hope to see you back next time. And remember, you're a King's Kid.